Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm gonna to tell you about this lovely 2017 Infinity Q50 premium all-wheel drive that we have for sale. We acquired this one off lease from Infinity Financial Services, so it's a one owner clean Carfax off lease vehicle. One of the benefits of being a new Infinity retailer is that we get access to a closed network of off lease vehicles available for sale. Um, so we get first dibs on buying these before they go to regular auctions where it's kind of a free-for-all where anyone could buy them CarMax or pretty much any dealership with a dealer's license. So one of my jobs as a pro manager is to kind of cherry pick and keep our inventory loaded up with the nicest, most beautiful cars we can find. Uh, we do take a good amount of cars in on trade, but uh, we don't take enough cars in on trade to uh, fill the supply of used cars we need to sell every month. So we also have to find them in other ways. Luckily, uh, we have a great... Uh, Great help with Infinity Financial Services uh, getting these off-lease vehicles. So when you're searching for your Q50, it's good to make sure you compare apples to apples. Uh, we can get uh, original um, window stickers on most Infinities. They're like 2014 or newer. Uh, this one had an original MSRP of $46,085. It has a Premium Plus package that was a $16.50 option, uh, giving you navigation. Uh, it gives you Navi synced adaptive shift control, heated front seats, heated steering wheel, a remote engine start, a power tilt and tel uh, telescoping steering column, uh, dual occupant memory seats for driver's seat mirrors and steering column settings, uh, auto dimming exterior mirrors, and a 60-40 uh, split uh, rear seat, um, as well as aluminum kick plates, splash guards are some of the big ticket features. So we have a drive mode selector here that makes changes to transmission shift points, steering, throttle sensitivity, traction, stability control settings. You can also uh, even dive a little bit deeper into these settings with the uh, screen down here. We have two screens. The top screen is for navigation and parking camera. Uh, the bottom screen is a tablet-like interface for vehicle settings and apps. So pretty much everything that you're controlling when you're changing drive modes here. You can also change here on this screen so you can actually get it a little even even more detailed. For instance, you could put the transmission in sport mode because you like the way it feels in sport mode, but you might like the way the steering is in standard mode. So that's something you can do on that screen, which you can't do there. So it gives you a little bit extra uh, deeper fine tuning of your vehicle. Uh, we also have active trace control that will break individual wheels to help it uh, rotate through corners a little bit better. Then we mentioned uh, that with a premium plus package, you get Navi synchronized adaptive shift control. So the way adaptive shift control works is it momentarily holds the current gear for better acceleration out of a turn corner or when accelerating up a hill, uh, but it can see those things coming up on the navigation so the transmission can can uh, prepare itself for upcoming road conditions because it can see a little bit ahead with the navigation. Pretty cool stuff. As we mentioned, a power adjustable steering wheel that tilts and telescopes. This one has 44,793 miles. Great sounding Bose audio system. I love the Bose audio system in the Q50s. I'm a musician, I'm an audiophile, so I'm pretty picky about my sound quality. And I'm always happy when I'm driving one of these things in a nice song that I love comes on so I can crank it up and enjoy it. And I think you will too. It's a little bit rainy outside, so I probably won't spend too much time outside. Um, even though the Q50 is considered a compact classification, it doesn't necessarily feel too compact on the inside. I'm six foot two. I had that front seat adjusted for, for my height and I still have a decent amount of leg room back here in the rear seats. The Q50 is built on a sports car platform. It's a rear-wheel drive sports car platform also shared with the 350Z, 370Z. So it's a very fun car to drive. You can see we have the all-season mats, regular carpeted mats. This one also has intelligent all-wheel drive. So you get rear-wheel drive performance when all-wheel drive is not needed, but the all-wheel drive can kick in up to 50% of the power to the front wheels as soon as those rear wheels slip for excellent wet slippery can excellent performance in wet slippery conditions uh, kind of like we're having now the heart of the q50 is a vr30 twin turbo engine 
It makes 300 horsepower. It's direct injection. Uh, direct injection sends highly pressurized gas directly into the combustion chamber. Generally, it gives you more horsepower, lower emissions, and better fuel economy. Adaptive Xenon lights provide a standing nighttime visibility, and then you have an LED daytime strip. This one has been serviced and checked by our Infinity certified techs. The brakes are good, the tires are good, it's been reconditioned, and all it needs now is a new home. Thanks so much for watching this video. We hope to see you soon, and have a wonderful day.